I want to show you how you can make a handle for a basket. So this handle will be good to use for any of the baskets that you have seen me make so far. So you are going to take your filler cord and decide how large you want your handle to be. So I want mine to be like that. So we also need to account for wrapping it because we are going to be going like this. It's not going to be like an exact precise measurement, but basically it's going to be by eye. So it's going to be like this looks good for me. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my filler cord right here. And I have decided I am going to be using the lavender for the color. So I don't want to have to add to this because I don't want there to be like a thickness in the middle of the handle because when you are adding a piece of cord, sometimes you can see just like an extra little thickness to it. So I am going to try to use more than I need. And I don't know exactly how much that is going to be. I will measure this. I will measure both pieces, the, the filler cord and this cord so that I can tell you how much I am using. So my lavender ended up being about 350 inches. It might be way too much. I will let you know how much I don't use or if I need to add some by the time I'm done with this. So we're going to do this the same way we start the basket. You're going to just lay that piece right over, just like that. And we are going to wrap the entire way, all the way around. So I will keep going until I get to this side and then show you what to do next. Okay, so I actually ended up using about 150 inches to cover this 25 inch piece of filler cord. So that is fine because I'm gonna need this extra cord anyway. So, and just keep in mind that everyone has a different tension. You might wrap tighter or looser, so you might need a little more or less. Okay, so what I am going to do is just figure out where you want your handle to be. So I am going to go with this side here. And actually, I'm going to put some tape over the end. And then I will put a piece of tape over this end. This is going to just help keep everything together. And this tape will help it slide through in between here a little bit easier. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to take one side and we are going to squeeze it through in between one of the rows. You can go low, you can go to the one right here, you can go to the bottom, whatever one you want to do. So you're going to push it through. Okay, I just added a little bit more tape. And now I'm going to just push it through this space right here. It will be kind of hard because this is all so thick and everything was done tight, so I'm going to have to pull this through. Okay, this took a whole lot of pulling because I coiled this all very tight. So basically what I'm going to do is I am going to go to this side and do the exact same thing directly across. You're just going to push it through. So push and then pull. Okay, so this is really hard to do. I'm not even gonna lie, it's super hard because I'm doing this after the fact, so if you plan for it, it'll probably be easier. So I had to really, really wiggle and squeeze and pull this into this spot. So now I am going to fold these up and all we need to do is just add a gathering knot on both sides. So make them even, which I will do really quick. And then to make a gathering knot, we are going to place our cord over them, make a loop so that it's like that. Hold everything together nice and tight and then wrap your cord around both pieces nice and tight. So for each round I use my thumb to guide the next piece. It's a little awkward, but it is going to work. Okay, so you can see how it's looking. Just keep wrapping. 
holding it in place. Continue wrapping until all of that is covered. But you need to make sure you don't cover the loop because that's how we close the gathering knot. Actually, looks like one of my pieces went off track, so let me fix that really quick because I want them to be as neat as possible. Okay, there, that's better. Okay. Let's do one more right there. That's the little tail piece from when I first started coiling, but it's okay. So now I'm going to grab my clip really quick and hold this in place because I have a little knot right here. I'm just going to untie. And actually I'm going to trim this because I don't need it to be so long. And then on this final wrap, I will take this tail piece and push it through the top of that loop, pull it through and then hold it in place. And then this bottom one, just pull. So as you pull that knot will go right here hiding. And then I pull both of them to tighten. And then now you can just trim these off and adjust anything to make it look nice and neat. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side. So again, I am going to hold this down. Place my cord over it. Make sure you're leaving a tail at the top. Make a nice big loop because you want, you want to make sure that your loop ends up being bigger than that folded over piece so that when you're done, you come out this end. Okay, so begin wrapping just like we did on the other side. Make sure you hold it nice and tight. My piece of cord is longer than it needs to be, but I don't want to cut it for just in case because I would rather it be too long. And sorry, this is a very awkward angle for the camera, so if you can't see it good, I apologize. But hopefully you get the idea. Okay, so I'm just going to continue doing that, and then I'll show you how we trim it. So to trim it, I would do one side as close as possible, take the other side and pull gently just to pull that piece through. So that just disappeared and then trim this side as close as possible. And then take your scissors and carefully just push it up to hide it and do the same thing on the other side. And that is it. Now you have a really cute, very easy handle for your basket. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.